So this portion of the video is to demonstrate percussion of the abdomen. So for the first part, what we're going to do is just general four quadrant percussion. So what we're going to do is percuss at each quadrant of the abdomen. Um, and what we're listening for is, you know, areas of tympani and dullness. Most of the abdomen will have tympani, specifically as over like the stomach bubble, but also the other areas, if they're completely full of gas, will also be tympanic. You might have some scattered areas of dullness associated with stool or something like that, but if there's a large mass, you'll have a larger area of dullness. This can give you some idea as where you should focus your palpation on based on where these, there might potentially be masses located. So for our percussion technique, you're going to use the same technique you would have used for the pulmonary exam. And again, just want to press your finger down and gently tap, again, creating the sound. And you want to do it each in one of the four quadrants. So the lower right and left quadrant and the upper right and left quadrant. And we notice that he was generally tympanic in most areas. So next we want to be able to do percussion for the organs. So for both the spleen as well as for the liver. So for the spleen, what we're going to do is just to try and do a brief percussion to see if there's any evidence of splenic enlargement. So where you want to place your finger is at the anterior axillary line at approximately the lowest rib space. And with the patient just breathing comfortably, you want to percuss, and it should be tympanic because you're over the area of the stomach. So I'm going to ask you to take a breath and hold it briefly. And relax. You notice that it was still tympanic. Uh, that is because he does not have a splenic enlargement. If it becomes dull or is dull in either of those percussions, that suggests there might be enlargement of the spleen. So next what we need to percuss for is enlargement of the liver, and excuse me, for liver span specifically. So we want to percuss both the superior uh, border of the liver as well as the inferior border of the liver. We recommend that you go down from above for the superior portion and up from below for the inferior portion of the liver. And waiting, taking note of the location where it shifts from that sort of more tympanic sound to the more dull sound of a solid organ. And take note of the range of that is. You want to do this in the area of the midclavicular line. Typically, a liver span should be somewhere between 6 and 12 centimeters if it's normal. And then up from above. Up, excuse me, up from below. And we heard the difference here and approximately here. And take note of the distance that you see.